Hello everyone, today we are going to solve problem 5 of chapter 17. Uh, so for this problem, the problem is asking for the angular acceleration of the rod. If you look at the problem, you will notice that the rod BD is having a translation. We are interested in finding alpha of the rod, not necessarily of the, of the bar. <clears throat> The first step in kinetic problem is to draw the free weight diagram. If you draw the free weight diagram, we know that there we have a force here, 100 Newton. We have two tensions. I'm gonna call them TDC, also TAB. And then we have the weight that is acting on the center of gravity. The problem is Telling me it's 50 kilogram times 9.81 will give me the weight. So in addition to free body diagram, I need kinetic diagram as well. So I have a tangential component of acceleration and the normal component. So MAG tangential and MAG the normal component. So for this problem, because it's in translation, there is no rotation, so there is no IG alpha. So it's just linear uh, acceleration for the two. So we need to use only two equations. We don't need to write any moment equation. Even if you do, you're not gonna get anything out of it. So summation of, let me go, summation of forces in T will give me M A G tangential component. Let's see what forces we have in, ten, in T direction. So we have 100 Newton, and that's the only horizontal force that we have. The other forces, the two tensions and the weight are in direction of N, the normal uh, direction. So M is 50, AG, the linear acceleration, the tangential, is the same as R alpha. We don't know R, or we know, uh, we, we, we don't know alpha, but we know R. R is 1.5 and alpha. So AG is R alpha here. It's a rotation about a fixed point. So we have one unknown. We can find alpha to be 1.33 radian per second. For the first unknown, or what found alpha. And then we can find a tension as well. The summation of forces in N is equal to the acceleration in that direction. Acceleration of the center of uh, gravity. So AG is R omega squared. Not the omega of the bar, but the omega of the rod. So we have two forces the two tensions, TAB and TDC. Also, we have the weight to give us the acceleration, which is 50 R omega squared, R is 1.5. Omega, the question is telling us is five. So assuming that TDC, if which according to symmetry TAB is the same as TDC. Uh, therefore, we can find the two. It would be the same and it would be equal to 1.182 kilonewton. So we found the acceleration in tangential direction and normal component based on the rotation of rod AB and rotation of rod CD, bar BC is not rotating, but because the other two are rotating, it's gonna have acceleration, but it's not gonna have any uh, moment. If you write a moment equation, let's say about this point, IG alpha, you would see that your moment would be zero, and then you will find out that member BD uh, does not have any angular acceleration. <clears throat> 